Hey everybody, it's Paul Ramsey and I am joined by Donna Bloom who is presenting the Mindfulness Formula, Get Into the Zone at the 2017 NGH Convention. How are you, Donna? I'm very well this morning. Thanks, Paul. Good, good. So it says here, quick and easy methods to build your hypnotism practice with focused intention and enthusiasm. That's nice. I like the sound of that. Fun. That's cool. Hey, how did you get into hypnotism? Tell me about how you got into hypnotism in the first place. Okay, about 12 years ago, I joined a gym and I joined, I started taking their meditation classes and I found the meditation just very life transformational. I got a lot of insight and a lot of wisdom. And then I started doing some private sessions with the teachers, the owners of this facility, and it changed my life. I didn't realize they were using hypnosis on me. <laughs> I know that. And then one day they couldn't teach the class, the meditation class. And they said, Donna, here's a CD, teach class. And I was thrown into it and was nervous, but I loved it. And then I became a meditation instructor and just found it very fulfilling it, because it changed my life so powerfully in such a short period of time that I wanted to develop this as a career and hypnosis seemed to fit that bill the best. That's cool. That's yeah. so great. So today, how do you spend like most of your time as a hypnotist? Do you have a, like a specialty? Do you do a lot of different stuff? What do you... I'm probably a generalist and I spend most of my time working with clients with anxiousness or worry. Nice. Seems to be. And weight loss, of course. Yeah. That's, that seems yeah. to be my, my special area of focus of, of the clients that's who cool. tend to worry a lot. Yeah. Oh, well, and that's not going away. I just see that's just going up and up and up. And yeah. yeah. And I find myself getting more um, phone calls for kids, more and more yes. parents who have kids that are like really worried and anxious all the time. So that's yes. definitely. Yeah. I'm working with a lot of teenage girls that either pull their hair, pick yeah. their nails, pick their face. Yeah. So it's all in the same general. I, I'm loving working with that, with that age group. It's fun. Yeah. Right. Yeah. There's a definitely a, uh, a growing need there. That makes sense. Yes. So cool. Well, very cool. Um, so out of all the, you know, the, the, the convention's big and there's a lot of choices. There's a lot going on, you know, lots of different topics of all the topics you could have chosen to present on. Why this topic? Why this topic? Well, because before I got into hypnosis, I was in the sales and marketing profession and I was going to a national sales meeting um, in Arizona and I had a long plane ride, picked up the book, The Law of Attraction and started reading it. And I really started absorbing that and using that in my sales profession. And within a short period of time, my sales were through the roof and I became a decorated salesperson. Wow. I was in the top 25 in the country. So it was very rewarding just to have this kind of like seeing the, the, the deal closed, seeing the signature, seeing myself doing the work after the deal was closed. And the more I just focused on these good feelings of working with a client, my numbers, it was just so effortless. So when it came to do this career change in my life and I wanted to do it full time, I'm like, well, I've got to do some marketing to get a practice. Yeah. Listen, I'm good at sales and marketing. I'm good at, I'm good at it. <laughs> I had a lot of experience doing it. However, I didn't have a lot of money to do marketing. I did some. I had a website, and I have a good website. Right. But I started realizing that the law of attraction could help me get new clients. When, when I was in my zone and when I was on, the clients were flowing. And when I was off, the clients were not flowing. Yeah. So I just found it very interesting and a colleague of mine just sort of, you know, she goes, you're going to present next year. And I was like, no, I'm not. And she's like, yes, you are. <laughs> and I, all of a sudden at convention, I decided I, it was, came to me exactly what the topic was. And I was very firm in my conviction that this was it. Oh, that's great. So uh, I want to clarify now while I'm thinking of it for people who are watching this video, if you're going to the 2017 NGH convention, you actually have two opportunities to see Donna talk about this topic. She's doing a one hour presentation on Friday and she's doing a two hour version of it on Friday. So if, you, um, if you're a little on the fence, maybe you should go to the one hour and get a sense of what she's going to be talking about. And then if you go, yes, this is it, and you want to drill deeper, then you need to get to that two hour. And the two hour is at four o'clock on Friday. Um, just so that 
folks have a sense. I mean, we're talking about uh, describing a visualization process to help conceptualize your preferred work environment, describing the importance of optimism and positive attitude as it relates to efficient business development, identify four methods to quickly get back on track when life throws that proverbial curveball. I mean, that mm. right there is mm. like, that's, that's your hook right there. You got to have that. It is. That's cool. What, you know, I just hit some of your bullet points, Donna, but for people who are, who are wondering about this topic, I mean, what's the value of knowing what you're going to teach in, in this seminar? Okay. So most hypnotists are looking for new clients and I'm going to show them proven ways that I have done and people have taken my classes can back me up on this. I'm going to give them processes to actual use starting at the convention in my class to start getting in the zone and mindfulness. I love processes. I love having something tangible. They will walk away with, I think I have a, a four page handout on things that they could use to start getting themselves into the zone and to start tracking themselves. Cool. So listen, every, most of us want new clients and don't have necessarily the money to spend on it. I'm going to help you. It's not magic, but it is magical. This is, a, I'm so glad that you're doing this because I really find that, you know, I started, you know, I got certified in 2004 and I started going to the convention right away and pretty quickly I, um, I mm -hmm. noticed that there's this, basically, there's two tracks at the convention, it seems like to me, right? There's one track of presentation that um, is all about hypnotism, as it should be. But then there's a secondary track that's much more focused on mm -hmm. marketing, sales, like stuff that helps people run their business. And, you know, there's way more of the, the hypnotism track right? There's more choices about that. And that makes sense to me, right? Yep. That's, that's, but I, I noticed very quickly that there are so many people at the convention who love hypnotism, who love to deepen their skill set about hypnotism, and who really want to be out there helping people. And, but they're so scared of, mm. of the responsibility of running your own business and of making those sales and of getting those clients. And it keeps them mired in, in a weight mode, you know, in, in not doing, I mean, they're still doing in terms of their learning and they're practicing a little on the side maybe, but they're mm -hmm. not out there really going at it. And so um, this stuff, I mean, I think that this track is maybe, I've never heard anyone talk badly about it, but it just feels like maybe it just doesn't get the attention that I think it deserves sometime, you know, of, of like really getting, I think when, when you go to the convention, I'm sorry, I'm not being as articulate as I could be, but when you go to the convention, I get that people are excited and they want to put new tools in their toolkit. But I think like, man, if you're not out there doing it with people, you know, if you're not really out there, then that's, you're missing your chance to change the world. And so going to these kinds of seminars, I think is really important. I just think it's really, really important to put these other non-hypnosis tools in your toolkit as well. You know what I mean? I do. I agree with you. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. And listen, when I was off my game, it was the call to maybe get more training and find the best and find the trainers that you like. And just, and, and it was that balance of growing my skill set, but that going out there and doing it. Yeah. So that's how the law of attraction also went. It was like, well, wait a second. You're in this particular area. You could use some more training, read a book, do a class. And there's just so much that the NGH provides that you can get to know the different trainers and the masters and, and pick and choose. So you, you have to have that balance yeah. between great training, which the NGH provides, but you've got to right, go out there and help people yeah. and do the best you can. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Hey, tell me, is there... um. I mean, you, you sound like you've always sort of been predisposed to, to the sales stuff and, and learning that stuff. But um, is there a cool like learning breakthrough that you remember having as you were on your journey of getting better at this stuff that you could share that would, that would sort of be interesting or help people? Yes, absolutely. So when I was given the mission that, uh, that I guess two summers ago to do a presentation, my learn I knew what I was going to do. I really had the outline pretty much in my head. I'm good at channeling that information. 
So I spent probably 12 months in school, in, in, in the universal school, look, preparing for this. So when I was on my game, the clients were flowing. Mm. And for some reason, if I doubted myself, if I was energetically off my game, the cancellations would happen. And not only would they happen in onesies, they would happen in triplets. And I knew my vibration was off. And that is part of it, that we were in this business where we're working with people. People cancel appointments. It happens. But why? Sometimes it's life. Sometimes it's a snowstorm. People get sick. But sometimes energetically, if you're not a match to it, the universe is going to tell you. So this was going on for 10, 12 months. So it's like, well, you're prepping for your class. And, and I preach. I practice what I preach. I'm the first to go. So I really have that learning experience where if I was low energetically and, and if I was feeling inadequate, well, why am I feeling inadequate? Do I, is my, does my learning need to be improved? Do I need to, to brush up on my game and, and do video podcasts or whatever? But then when I was on my game, the clients were flowing and it was really fun. I had fun with this. I love what I do and I like to share it with other hypnotists. That's good. That's great. That's awesome. Hey, if, if people want to learn more about you and more about what you do, what's a good way for them to do that? Well, the best way is my website, which is wisemindhypnosis.com or my Facebook page. All right. That's Those great. are the two best ways to reach me. Yeah, cool, cool. All right, you guys. So one more time, it's session 12047, the mindfulness formula. Get into the zone to get new clients, all right? And Donna Bloom is going to teach you this stuff and then you're going to go out and you're going to get more clients and you're going to make it more, even more of a difference in the world. And it's going to be fantastic. Donna, thank you so much for making time for me. Paul, thank you very much for having me. You're welcome. I'll see you in August. Yes. Looking forward to working with you and meeting you.